So um, another thing we're going to go over is uh, setting up security. We're going to go through one example, and that's setting up a web security. The first thing you need to do before you touch any of the code is to configure the access point that we're using um, to connect over. Um, the access points have pretty standard um, things where you can choose web or WPA or, or any such security setting. Um, in this example, we're going to go over the web security setting. Um, to set up web in the software after you set it up in the access point, um, you need to set up four things. The first thing you need to do is set the encryption type to web, and we'll show you which which uh, pound define you need to do that. Um, you need to indicate whether you're using short or long keys. Um, you need to form one to four hexadecimal keys, and then you need to tell the software to choose which key index to use. So again, to come back to the code, um, you can look for this pound define. Um, the first thing you need to do is to choose the key type, the encryption type. And we're going to change that to K key type web. As you can see in the text above, um, K key type web is, uh, corresponds to web encryption. The next thing you need to do is choose long or short key length. Um, in this, my default web key length, um, let's go with long for this example, but if you want it short, you just change this part of the the constant to short. Um, after that, you need to choose the array that you're going to use. Since you chose, since we chose long here, we're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna take my default web keys long as the um, as the array that we're going to use. As you can see, this is the long array, and this is the short array. And this pound define just points to either one of those keys. So we're going to go with the long. And as you can see now, um, this is where you can put in your web key. So whatever web key you put into your uh, access point, we can also put into here. Um, this is the first key. This is the second key. This is the third key. And that's the fourth key. And they're numbered 0 through 3, um, just like most arrays in software. You know, they're indexed with a 0, beginning with a 0. Um, so, you know, after you've specified your keys there, the last thing you need to do is just to choose the default web key index. So, again, 0, 1, 2, or 3, depending on which key you are using in your access point. And after that, you'll have web set up. And um, that's about it. And on compile and on power up, it would look for, it, it, it would present that web key to the access point. Uh, the last thing we're going to show you before we start building code is um, the one common thing that people change um, is the H in HTTP2.h, which is under the TCP/IP stack um, subfolder here, is the port, the port that we are um, using for for communications. If you look at the um, the pound defined HTTP port. You can see that 80 is the is the uh, common default port, and if you want to change that, we can change that right here. So you can change that to whatever port you're using. Okay, now we're ready to start building. Uh, there's a couple of things we need to do before we um, start to build. Uh, first, we're going to choose a programmer, and um, again, I have the MP Lab ICD2. So I'm going to, and it's going to come up with a another um, dialog box, and after you choose that, you want to connect to it. So if we go under program again, we can hit connect, and we should see something. We should see a message like this. The other thing we need to do is make sure we have the correct device. Under configure, I'm going to select the device, and if you look on your board, you can just look at the chip, um, the name on the chip, and choose it from this pull-down menu. I have this pick right here, and this is the this is the text that's on on mine. So this is what I'm going to use. Um, after that, we're ready to uh, build. So we're going to go to project and build all. And I had pre-built something, so it's deleting all the old files and rebuilding everything because I chose build all. 
you can also um, you can also do a make because it, the the project comes with a make file, so you can um, make and I'm sure everyone's um, familiar with what a make file does. Um, and we're just going to wait for this to finish building, and then we'll run it. Okay, as we can see, our build succeeded, and so the next step is to program. We are going to go to the program menu again and hit program. And depending on which programmer you have, again, it's going to take a while. The ICD2 is uh, uh, noticeably slower than the ICD3, um, but it will it will take some time depending on the code size, obviously. Okay, now that our um, programming has succeeded, and we can tell that by looking at the programming succeeded line in our um, output, we're going to go to Programmer again. We're going to hold the device and reset, and then we're going to release from reset, and that's the same as basically pressing the reset button. And now, if you open up a uh, hyper terminal and connect to the board through the serial port, which is um, shown through the uh, in the getting started guide how to do that. Um, we can see here that the demo started. I actually reset it twice um, earlier so that's why it's shown twice but um, we can see that the um, it started with the IP address that we had pre-programmed in the pre-compile header and in the pre-compile um, pound defines um, it connects to the AP and then was assigned a new IP address. So now that we know it's connected to the uh, IP address we can open a browser, 